So let's take a look at drift detection in CloudFormation. And to understand this, we need to first understand what is drift. So drift is when your stack's actual configuration uh, differs, so it has drifted by what CloudFormation expects it to be. So why does drift happen? Well, when developers start making ad hoc changes to the stack, a good example is uh, they go ahead and delete something. So maybe you provisioned a bunch of stuff in CloudFormation and it created an EC2 instance that you didn't need anymore, so the developer deleted it. But when you go back to the CloudFormation console, it still says it's there, but you know that it's been deleted. And that can cause complications, or it just doesn't give you good visibility in terms of you know what resources you have and what state they are in. And so what that developer should have done is they should have went and updated that CloudFormation template and let the CloudFormation delete that resource. Um, so CloudFormation has this feature called Detect Drift, and it does as what we've been talking about here, which is it determines whether something's been deleted or it has been modified. And so all you got to do in your CloudFormation um, uh, stack there is just drop down, turn on... Uh, uh, detect drift, and then you can uh, view the results. Now, I do want to mention about nested stacks and drift, uh, drift detection. So when you are detecting drift on a stack, CloudFormation does not detect drift on any nested stacks that you belong to. Instead, you can initiate a drift detection operation directly on those nested stacks. So you have to turn it on for all the individual stacks. It's not going to trickle down to every single thing uh, in your hierarchy there. So let's just take a quick peek here at what drift detection kind of looks like. So uh, the idea is you would turn it on and uh, it would tell you whether your stack has drifted. And you can see uh, when it last checked to see if it's drifted, um, these are the possible statuses that your resources could be in. So it could be that it's been deleted, it's been modified, it's in sync, meaning everything is good and not checked. So there's cases where it just CloudFormation hasn't checked it. Um, in fact, if you first launch your or you turn on drift detection, you have to wait till that check has happened. So all of them will say not checked. Uh, and just to take a look at what that looks like, here I have a bunch of resources. Um, and on the right hand side, you can see there's some that have been deleted, there's ones that are in sync, and there are ones that are modified. So there you go.